Kawegal, my African heroine, my single queen, Mother Kela, the one who builds a home for herself. It doesn't matter how you ended up on Mother Kela. It doesn't matter if you left an abusive relationship. It doesn't matter if you became Uma Zakela through the loss of your husband. It doesn't matter if you became Uma Zakela through a divorce. It doesn't matter if you became Uma Zakela by choice. Still, our African culture labels you an anomaly in a society where marriage is valued above all else. To stand alone and build a home by yourself is to buy. You are insulted for being strong, and yet you are the foundation for grooming and giving a future to many children in Africa. You are still Uma Zakela to the broader African society. They call you Uma Zakela because the foundation of the home that you built is so deep that it has stood the test of time. They call you Uma Zakela because you have summoned the strength to soldier on, even when all odds are against you. Held in disdain in a conservative African society that does not believe there is room for a woman to be single, you have still made it. I stand in awe of you, Mbogodo, the rock of the family. You defied all societal norms that prescribed that a woman can only function under a male figurehead and still made a success of yourself. You are Indo Dampa, the female version of the male in the household, and you hold the fort in your family through your hard work and sacrifice. Straighten your crown, my queen, because I'm just about to applaud you. You are certainly the pulse of society. You refused Ugundeno, that is, you refused to support the culture of wife inheritance when your husband died. That turns you into a threat to the moral fabric of society when in fact you have saved yourself from all manner of disease. You are a threat to men who see your independence as a challenge to their masculinity. You fell pregnant outside marriage, which earned you the brand of a loose and immoral woman. You became Umazalele Kaya, the one who gives birth at her parental home. You became Umabuya Wendeni, that is the one who returned from marriage, when you defied the teachings of the old lady on Ugubegezela Emenwe, that is tolerance in marriage. Now you are despised and castigated. You are like a vessel that is cast out by your own. Society looks down on you, and yet in reality, you are a heroine. You take care of your children by yourself. Seeing your children succeed gives you that proud mama moment. You have taken it further, Kukugazi Esima Siva Simba, my fairy colorful hen by embracing even children that are not yours. You look after your grandchildren with so much commitment and love. You exude only hugs and kisses and never any vine. You are approachable, affectionate and caring. Your kindness has wiped away the tears of many and is broad. It is infectious. Being single, has not made you immune to looking after other people as well. You are definitely a family-centered human being. You are an angel draped in human form. Peace follows your footsteps. You get up while it's dark to provide for the family. I envy you for the way you are able to deal with your parental duties while juggling your work commitments, your home duties, and a side hustle to feed, clothe, and keep your family warm. Even though you cannot even call in and take a day off from parenting, you have handled it all with grace, humility, and a level of calm 
that is beyond my comprehension. It looks like your anticipated rest will only occur when you are in the coffin, my queen. Although you put up a mask of all is well, you do have a moment of loneliness and depression that cannot be shared with a partner. You have learned to hold hands with your circle of friends, your children, grandchildren, and like-minded for a support system, and it has worked well for you. Although you are lowly paid, you still take care of your family's material needs. You spend nights tossing and turning and running the complex family budget through your head. Lest you forget, Mazakela, there are prying eyes that are judging you every day. Hold your step and gate with grace, however. Please do represent the Mazakela species well. You are an easy target for those with less honorable motives. Just because you are single does not mean you are a candidate to snatching other people's husbands, left, right, and center. Assure the merit of this world, therefore, that there is no need for them to hold their husbands' hands tight when you make an appearance. Tell the world it is within your right to be single, whether Umfelogasi, the widow, whether it's through Isetuganiso, that is divorce, and whether it is by choice. Mother Keda, you are strong, you are relentless, you are a symbol of love, you are just perfect the way you are.